Hi, hello, welcome, welcome back. Today I decided to film a small tutorial on how to make a better looking sidestep for your model so that your foot will always stay on the ground and never hover in the air weirdly if you only tilt your head halfway to the side. So, uh, this is really simple. The first thing you're going to want to do is uh, go and find, I'm just gonna go to Body Easy real quick and then under here, so we're going to create two blunt shapes. One is called Steppies L. Uh, let me just... Uh, this one has a minimum of minus one, default of zero, and a maximum of one. Just make sure you tick the blend shape box because otherwise all of this isn't going to work. Click OK. And now you can just right click, replicate parameters, edit parameter, and now change this to R. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna wanna do is uh, we're going to so just select all of your deformers for one of your legs. In this case, I have my leg and my foot in a separate deformer, but you just wanna make sure your entire leg uh, is selected here and you have all of the parts and you're gonna create a new warp deformer and I'm gonna call this one Steppy's Leg L. Click Create. And now this one is, um, first of all, I'm going to adjust this a bit so that I have one of these lines right over my knee so uh, the bending looks nicer. Uh, the other stuff doesn't really matter. I'm just going to be using the lasso tool to adjust these. So the first thing we're gonna do is key it to body Z. And then uh, when you are leaning to the side you want to take the step on, you're going to make a kind of sliding motion with your foot, like it's sliding to the side. Let me show you. So I'm gonna grab my lasso tool, I'm gonna to drag here and select all of my vertices for my lower leg. Then I'm just gonna tilt these and move them to make it look like my leg is tilted to the side. And I'm just going to turn my foot a little bit so it doesn't look like it's like, uh, also tilting along with the rest of the leg so much. So just like that, and then just, you know, play with it, adjust it until it looks good. I'm not doing it very exactly here because I just wanna film a tutorial. So, yes. Now, select this same deformer you just used. Uh, go to the middle again. And now add three keyforms on Steppy's L. Go to either one or minus one, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna grab your lasso tool, select the same, oops, select the same points here. Now I'm just gonna squish these and drag them up a little to make it look like my leg is stepping up and down. You can just adjust this, you know, make make these motions as beautiful or pretty as you want. I'm not gonna do that right now because otherwise we'd be sitting here for two hours. Um, so now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my deformer again Go to the keyform I just rigged that on, Control shift c copy this keyform, and paste the same thing on the other side. So now you have your Steppies L blend shape, looks like this, in the middle your leg will go down, and on either side it goes up, like this. Okay, cool. And now, so that you don't have to re-rig all of this, this only works if you have symmetrical legs. So if your legs are asymmetrical, just do exactly what I just did, but on the other leg. But if you do have symmetrical legs, just select only the warp deformer you just rigged, Control C and Control V. Um, now, if it pops up with a little deformer position adjusting, just select that and delete it, because we won't need that. Select, I'm just gonna rename it like R real quick so that we know which one we're talking about. Right click. Now make sure you have the one select that doesn't have anything in it yet because otherwise you're going to mess everything up. Then just click reflect and select reflect parameters body Z and click OK. Now you can grab uh, the other deformers that need to go in here and just drag them in there. And then when you go wrong deformer. When you go from side to side, your legs should slide back and forth like this. Now all we're going to do is make sure you have your deformer for your right leg selected. 
right click on step ease L, select change from this little menu here, then select step ease R, and now your legs will be moving up and down independently of one another. So now uh, there are only two things left we have to do. First, we have to set up the physics for this. So uh, I'm just going to click add, call this step ease L, click OK. From my input, I'm going to select body Z or, you know, whatever um, parameter you have that's tilting your model side to side. Make sure this is set to position. This is really important, otherwise it won't work. Set the effectiveness to 100 so it actually influences this all. Then add a pendulum and turn the shaking influence down. I like using 0.79 because it just stops my leg from like kind of bouncing up and down when I step to the side. Um, so yeah, the only thing that's important here is that your shaking influence is low. Any of the others you can adjust to make it look however you want. Just mess around with it. But this works for me, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. Now I'm just going to select my Steppies L uh, parameter here for my output. And then if I lean to the side, you can see it's already working. Well, not quite. If I go the other way, it, it looks a little weird. Uh, but don't worry, we're going to change that later. Now, all we're going to do is up here by group, we're going to click duplicate and call this one Steppies R. Then just change the output from Steppies L to Steppies R. If I can find it. And now you have the physics set up. It's still, it still looks a little weird, as you can see. It kind of looks like you're floating back and forth. So to fix the problem with the legs moving at the same time, we are just going to select one of our warp deformers. I'm going to start with Steppies L. You want to make sure that these um, are going in the right direction, right? So what you want to do is that you want it to be able to step if body Z is leaning to the side where your leg is sliding here, right? So if the body is sliding to this side, you want this leg to be able to move. And when it's sliding to this side, you want this leg to be able to move. Now, my body Z is flipped. Uh, so this, it might be a little different for you, but just, you know, bear with me. We're going to select Steppies L here, then click limit settings for blend shape weights. Okay, and we're thinking, okay, so when it's leaning to this side, so for me, that's when it's all the way to the left, I want the parameter to be able to move. So I'm going to select fold line three here, um, select body Z, click add. Okay, so you can see that when body Z is at minus 10, this is when my leg moves. And to make it look a little better, I'm just gonna click add a graph here. And then I'm going to add a point between these at 100%. So in my case, that's minus five here. So I'm just gonna click add row, change this to minus five and set this to 100%. Click OK. So this is what my graph looks like. So that just makes it that as with my body is tilted to this side, my leg can move. If it's tilted to the other side, I try moving this, nothing happens. And you can also see that if I move it like somewhat in between, it can still move fine. And then the closer I get to zero, the less it moves and on the, at zero, it doesn't move anymore. Now, all you have to do is you do the exact same thing for Steppies R, but just in the opposite direction of whatever you just did. So for me, that means I'm going to select body Z, and instead of fold line three, I'm going to select fold line two to make it go in the opposite direction. And again, edit graph. This time, because it's all flipped, I have to set this to five, not minus five, and put it at 100%, click OK. And now I have the exact same graph, but in the opposite direction. Let's click X. And now if I go to physics settings, you can see my steps work. And also that if you can see that when I go to the side, just a little bit, my leg will still stay on the ground. And yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. And if you enjoyed my tutorial, consider liking and subscribing if you want to see more of my content. And yeah, that's it. Goodbye.